without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Budget Squad episode. Today, guys, the position that we're going to be taking a look at is quarterback. Uh, obviously, one of the most important positions on the football field, both in real life as well as in Madden. And we're going to kind of look at guys breaking them down into different groups and different types of players. So uh, the very first group that I want to start off and take a look at uh, is probably the least exciting. So we're going to get that out of the way first. And that's the pocket passers. Okay, guys? So if you're new to this series, basically what we do is we compare a cheap card to a more expensive card. It doesn't necessarily mean that the cheaper card is better, but in some cases they are. So uh, we're going to take a look at the, uh, on the left side of your screen, we've got the lower price card here, which is the seasoned veterans, Matt Schaub. We're going to be comparing him to the seasoned veteran, Tony Romo, uh, which Tony Romo is going for 85,000 coins. Matt Schaub only going for 15,000 coins. And I think these cards are actually pretty darn close to one another in most attributes. Now, the Areas where Tony Romo kind of blows him out of the water are basically only in a couple different things. He destroys him in agility and elusiveness. And that's kind of weird. Everything else, there, there's not really a huge difference between these two cards. But, I mean, obviously, Romo is known for being very elusive in the pocket, so that makes sense. And Matt Schaub, not very elusive whatsoever. So I'm not really that surprised by it, but 27 is awful for elusiveness. So Matt Schaub is not a guy you can really run with at all. He's not somebody that you want to take off and, and uh, you know run down the field with, really in any situation, to be honest with you. But what Matt Schaub does is he can stand in the pocket and he can deliver passes accurately and I, I think that's what we're really looking for with a guy like shop he's got 97 throw accuracy short 94 throw accuracy mid both of those attributes are better than Tony Romo now where he's not as good is throwing the ball deep down the field he only has a 92 for throw power and his throw accuracy deep is only an 89 both of those things are quite a bit behind Romo who's at 96 and 95 respectively for those attributes now where shop does actually come up a little bit better than Romo in addition to these areas is, is that he's actually higher in throw on the run and play action, which is kind of interesting because, again, he's not much of a mobile quarterback, so I can't imagine you're going to be running very much with him. But the play action, I think, is actually kind of nice because if you're somebody that's running a lot of, um, you know, out of out of the formations where you, you're faking handoffs and running play action, I think that Matt Schaub might actually be better in a lot of cases than Tony Romo. So uh, definitely a card to look at if you're somebody that likes to stay in the pocket with your quarterback. I actually do this a lot. So, um, you know, this is a card that I would actually consider picking up for my team at some point. So I might end up transferring over to this Matt Schaub at some point, but we'll see what happens. Next on the list, though, guys, we're going to get into the mobile passers. This is quite a bit more entertaining for most of you guys. Most people in Madden at this point would pretty much agree, I think, that the mobile quarterbacks are really where it's at. And, and uh, you know, what we really look for are guys that can throw the ball accurately and also can run. Because if they don't put a contain on the field and they're not spying, you can get some huge yardage running the ball with your quarterback in Madden 16. So the guy on the left here that we've got is Tyrod Taylor, final edition, going for, again, about 15,000 coins. We're going to be comparing him to the team of the year, Russell Wilson. And again, in a lot of these areas, there's really not a huge difference between these two players. You look at throw accuracy short, throw accuracy mid, they're pretty much identical. Uh, Tyrod Taylor's a little bit higher in throw accuracy short. They're the exact same in throw accuracy mid. Throw accuracy deep, he does lag behind with only an 8. 86 throw accuracy deep. That's not great. He does have good throw power, though, with a 95. It is a little lower than Russell Wilson, but both of those guys are at the top level in terms of throw power. They're not really going to have a problem chucking the ball down the field. But uh, where Tyrod Taylor is actually a little bit better than Russell Wilson is that he is even a little bit more mobile than Russell Wilson. He does have better speed by one and one better acceleration as well. So he is slightly quicker. His agility isn't quite as high. He's only a 90, which is still really good for a quarterback, by the way. Uh, but his elusiveness isn't spectacular. He's only a 76 for elusiveness. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um 
and the other, th- but the other thing that I like about Tyrod Taylor is that he does actually have a little bit higher carrying rating. He's a 79 for carrying. So if he does get hit, he's not going to fumble quite as often as your Russell Wilson will. So these cars are actually, again, very comparable. I think, you know, there you could make the case that Russell Wilson's better because he does have some of these other attributes like throw accuracy on the run and also play action where he's quite a bit higher than Tyrod Taylor. But at the same time, I don't think it's spectacularly better. And uh, I don't think he's worth, you know, the eight to 10 times as expensive as he, as he is over Tyrod Taylor. So let's take a look at the second set of mobile quarterbacks. And again, these are guys who, um, you know, primarily you're going to want to consider running with them, but they also have some good throwing attributes. Now, this one on the left, Ryan Tannehill, he is quite a bit cheaper. He's only 8,000 coins. That's super, super cheap final edition. And that is also why he's only better in than uh, the card on the right in one attribute. And the card on the right is Tim Tebow, Campus Hero. Now, Tebow is, as we know, he's always got an overpowered card in Madden. <laughs> Pretty much ever since he's been in the game, he's had at least one overpowered card, and this is it this year. He's got the 91 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 throw power. Those attributes are really, really nice, and obviously, he's really boosted up in certain areas, such as throw on the run and play action. His play action being a 99 is incredible. I mean, he's definitely going to be able to get the defense to bite on that play action pass, and that's a really good thing to have, of course course. So, you know, it makes sense that this card's worth 450,000 coins. I mean, it is a really, really good card, and I'm not going to sit here and try and tell you that Ryan Tannehill's better by any means. But there are some things about Tebow that I I don't think are great. And I mean, number one, I think that it's worth noting that he is a left-handed quarterback. Now, that doesn't matter for everybody, but for a lot of people, we just have a lot of problems throwing the ball with a left-handed quarterback in Madden, and it's you know standing in the pocket and making the, the right movement in the pocket and things like that. It just doesn't come naturally, especially if you're naturally a right-handed person. It's tough to make that transition and throw with a left-handed quarterback, so that's something to think about with Tebow. Um, the other thing, of course, is that his throw accuracy medium is only an 86. If you compare that to Ryan Tannehill being a 94, that's a substantial difference difference. This Tebow card does not throw the ball down the field very accurately uh, in the mid-range, and that's the thing that Ryan Tannehill does really well. The throw accuracy short and the throw accuracy mid 95 and 94 in those areas. Now, where Tannehill does lag substantially behind is that he does have a really bad throw accuracy deep rating. I mean, this is, for for an elite quarterback, this is not a good attribute. 82 throw accuracy deep is really, really, really mediocre in that area. But, It is worth considering that most of the time you're not going to be throwing the ball at the range where you're actually going to consider it a quote-unquote deep pass. Because as I understand it, Madden basically rates everything under 10 yards as being a short yardage pass, everything between 10 to 25 yards as being a mid pass, and anything about 25 yards or deeper as being a deep pass. So yeah, of course, you can throw the ball down the field and uh, you you do need accuracy thrown at more than 25 yards down the field, of course, but also consider that when it's thrown the ball, when the ball's thrown more than 25 yards down the field, a lot of times you're going to be able to adjust on it and get your receiver in the right position anyway. So uh, the accuracy isn't, to, in my opinion, the throw accuracy deep is actually not as important as the throw accuracy mid and the throw accuracy short. I think throw accuracy mid is the one that I personally look for the most because most of my throws come between, you know, eight to 20 yards or so, somewhere in that range. That's where I tend to throw the ball. And uh, I don't want my quarterback missing in that range because you can, a lot of bad things can happen if you miss in that range. So uh, that's the thing I like about Ryan Tannehill, and he is also still pretty elusive. He does have 87 speed uh, with 90 acceleration. Both of those attributes are really good. Nice agility with an 86. 74 for elusiveness isn't too bad. So it's nice to have a quarterback who can make those throws short and mid and still be mobile. And that's what I really like about this Ryan Tannehill. And for 8,000 coins, you can try him out, see if you like him. If you don't, just go ahead and send him back onto the auction block and you lose, you know, 800 coins. It's really no big deal. So I definitely Definitely, again, like this Ryan Tannehill. I really recommend checking him out if you're looking for a nice budget quarterback. Now, the last kind of quarterback that I really want to compare is kind of a comparison. It's kind of like a a mixture, I guess, between the mobile passers and the pocket passers because these guys aren't great runners, but they're not bad either. Um, And they're not complete statues because uh, they're able to get down the field running, but they're also not the guys that can run and, you know, run at 4-2 speed. So, 
On the left side of your screen, we've got Blake Bortles. This is a campus hero, Blake Bortles. Pretty cool card. Uh, I definitely like it. One of the better, in my opinion, budget quarterbacks. But it is worth noting that he is actually lower in every single attribute other than one in comparison to the Super Bowl Aaron Rodgers. Now, Aaron Rodgers, of course, a 97 overall card. We know Aaron Rodgers' cards are typically really, really good in Madden, uh, and there's this one's really no different. He's great in basically everything that you would look for, uh, great throwing accuracy attributes. I mean, he's got the 94 throw accuracy short, 94 mid, 94 or 95 mid, 94 deep. Really good attributes across the board there. But if you look at the Blake Bortles, he's really not much lower than him in pretty much anything. If you really look at the attributes, the only things where Aaron Rodgers really blows him out of the water are in carrying, which is, you know, arguably important for a quarterback. And uh, other than that, it's really not anything where he blows him away. I guess speed, he's seven higher and play action he's five higher but like look at the throwing accuracy attributes only two difference in throw accuracy short one in throw accuracy deep they're the same in mid and uh two at two throw power difference that's not going to be a substantial difference the acceleration is only two um throw on the run they're exactly the same so i mean if you look at these attributes man it's so close in most of them but you look at the prices, and Aaron Rodgers is literally 10 times as expensive, 250,000 coins on average, whereas Blake Bortles, you can get him for 20, 25,000 coins most of the time. So definitely a really good value out of Blake Bortles. He's kind of a mini version of this Aaron Rodgers, uh, and, and what's kind of funny is a lot of people have actually compared him on the field this past year to Aaron Rodgers, and I, I don't know if I see that comparison quite yet, but um, you know, it's good to see that Madden has actually kind of pulled that into the game as well. So the last comparison that I want to do today, guys, is uh, again, another balanced set here. Again, quarterbacks that can run, but they can also pass as well. And on the left side of your screen, you've got the one that Bizzlebomb actually recommended to me, Bizzlebomb from the uh, Madden Ultimate Team Reddit. And he actually recommended this one. So I've been trying this card out myself, and I really, really like it. It's Colt McCoy, Campus Hero, going for about 15,000 coins. We're going to compare him to the 99 overall Steve Young. So... Obviously, Steve Young's got him beat in quite a few different areas, right? I mean, we would expect that out of a 99 overall card. He's one of the first 99 overall cards that was available in this game this year. Um, he's really great at everything. Young doesn't really have anything where he's bad. So that's always a good thing. He does kick Colt McCoy's ass in a couple of attributes. So, I mean, I'm not even going to act like he doesn't. The elusiveness and the agility are substantially in the favor of Steve Young. He's a better running quarterback for sure. And he does have 87 speed along with 90 acceleration, whereas Colt McCoy's only got an 82 and an 87 in those areas. He's not bad at those things, though. That's the thing. Steve Young is just really, really good in those areas. The thing I like about Colt McCoy, again, is he actually has Steve Young beat in a couple of the important attributes. Throw accuracy mid, which I said, in my opinion, is the most important accuracy that you can have. It's actually one higher than Steve Young, and his throw accuracy short is also one higher as well. Throw power, they're actually very close to one another as well, 92 to a 94 for Young. So very, very comparable attributes in most of these areas. Um, he's only two lower in throw on the run and only one lower in play action as well. So if you look at these, these things just as far as the numbers themselves, very, very close almost across the board other than speed and elusiveness. So, uh, and, and again, Colt McCoy is not a statue either. He's got the 82 speed, which isn't great. Great, but it's not bad either. Definitely fast enough that if the defense doesn't have a contain or if they're not QB spying, you can get around the edge and pick up those first downs. So, um, you know, I, I really do like this Colt McCoy. And like I said, I've been using him. So I definitely can say firsthand that I recommend this card for you to try out. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, in the comments section below, do me a favor. Let me know if you've tried any of these cards out. And if you have, let me know what you think of them. If if And also, guys, if you have any other cards that you want to see in the budget series for the quarterbacks, if you have any other recommendations, be sure to drop those in the comments section as well. And last but not least, guys, let me know what cards or what position, excuse me, that you want to see next in the budget series. We've done quite a few different ones, but I want to hear what you guys want to see next. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.